hand over to Chia, uh, who part of the team right from the very beginning. Uh, it's been amazing to work with Chia for all these time, and to Alex. I'm Chigozi Unri, um, and I'm a software engineer at Stability. Um, and one of the things I've been working on recently is generally getting stable diffusion out into the world. So through the API uh, and also through Gene Studio. Sorry, can you, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I also took part in an art residency this summer at Stochastic Labs, which is where I met Alex, um, who is an MIT trained roboticist uh, and also an incredible artist. Um, he's represented by uh, Gazelle Art House London, um, and he's exhibited at all sorts of exciting places, uh, the Vienna Biennale, um, <coughs> Design Museum Ghent, and many others. Um, he's been working uh, recently on a series of artworks that uh, use AI to, to probe human-machine collaboration, and um, I'd like to let him describe some of those most recent works, and then maybe we can have a short discussion about uh, how to incorporate AI in the artistic process in general. So, Alex? Thanks, Gia. Um, so, uh, on this uh, video here, you can see someone making a painting. Um, so, this is a painting that was first described by a text generative AI. Um, I choose the descriptions of artworks that I like from that system, and then I feed them back into text to image generation. So, uh, it's sort of one AI talking to another through me interpreting them. And then uh, when those images are output, they are uh, oil painted. So they cross boundaries between the digital to the physical, which I find quite interesting. Um, there's a few more examples you'll see here. Uh, so this is what it looked like uh, when it was up in Venice. So the main uh, painting that was painted in the middle and a whole bunch of other options of images which could be painted in the future if someone sees one that they like. Uh, on the top here, you see the uh, AI generated version and the painting. Um, a few more examples of this. Um, yeah, these are quite surreal or funny. Um, and uh, yeah, this one uh, I, I find really cool uh, because the title of the AI made for this one was uh, um, Billy and Mal have an argument about putting together a like side table and decide to get a divorce, which I think many of you have experienced putting together furniture like that. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm always surprised by the outputs of these systems because sometimes they're, they're humorous, sometimes they're they're, they're really striking, um, yeah, and the variety that you can get is quite amazing. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, this is what it uh, looked like in a gallery in London, so this is the Gazelle Gallery, and again, uh, sort of the oil paintings and wallpaper on the wall. So if a collector or curator came and saw uh, one that was generated out of the five options that they liked, they can kind of point to that one and get it painted, then they become part of the creation process, again, this sort of human-machine collaboration. Great. Um, so while we uh, talk, uh, I've um, put up this uh, series of uh, a selection of images that you've generated using Stable Diffusion, um, using this kind of process, um, but it's before the curation step, so it, it just represents the kind of raw outputs. And I think this really illustrates nicely the fact that in these systems you get an, an abundance of choice and also a, an abundance of, of beauty. Um, and, and, and that, that's part of what makes this technology so amazing. But um, how do you think that that changes your artistic process? Yeah, it's quite interesting. I think the usual artistic process is to kind of start with you know, an image in your head and then create that image of its visual art. Uh, this is kind of flipping that on its head where I'm creating many, many outputs you know, using an API that I can go through all these images and pick out ones that I like and then kind of work backwards from there, maybe make more variations of those or, or continue those further. So having something like an API that you can make generative outputs with um, creates this kind of curatorial relationship the artists can have with the machine. Yeah, I think it's a really good point that the, the API is not necessarily just for developers, even though it, it does allow those capabilities. It can also be useful for individual artists. Um, so because you're, because you're so experienced in, in using these kinds of systems, um, as more and more creators try these tools for the first time, do you have any advice for them and kind of how they should approach them? Yeah, I would say, you know, think outside the prompt, you know, treat this like it's like a camera. So imagine like you first encounter a camera and you've never seen one before. I think everything you take a picture of is going to look cool and amazing because it's just kind of new. But obviously, you know, camera, the camera is involved into like this 
own art form on its own. So, you know, move from digital to physical, try different things and really push the boundaries of these systems because I think it's gonna be one of these brand new creative tools we're gonna look back at like we did for the camera. Yeah, I, lo I love it. Um, finally, uh, what's, what's coming next, uh, both for you, but also um, in your view for these tools as part of the art world as a whole? Yeah, so uh, upcoming next year, I'm gonna have my first uh, solo museum show in a, in a major museum, I can't name which one quite yet, uh, but it's gonna be a, a pretty big survey of AI art in particular, and I find this really cool because it kind of puts a bookmark in time where like a cultural institution has put their foot down and say, you know, this is a new and valid art form, you know, this is something we're looking at very seriously. Um, and yeah, I can imagine in the future we might see an AI wing in museum, just like we see photography uh, weighing over like an SF mobile over there. Amazing, thank you so much for Alex for joining us. Um, and I will hand back over to Imad uh, for our next session. Thank you. Yeah. Animation. Animation? Let's go. Playing Dream Studio Pro, the next frontier of AI media creation. Powered by Stable Diffusion, Dream Studio Pro represents a new paradigm in creative expression. Explore infinite latent space, conjure new realities, and create powerful cinematic visuals in just minutes. Connect with your audience like never before with Dream Studio Pro's incredible versatility. Translate emotional stories and poetry into compelling imagery. Create an infinite variety of nuanced emotional animations. Use text prompts together with music to drive Dream Studio Pro's audio processing unit and create powerful audio reactive music videos driven by AI. With Dream Studio Pro and Stable Diffusion, filmmakers can go from a creative concept to a short animated film in just minutes. Draft and visualize your script with our powerful storyboard mode. Send your storyboards into the timeline for versatile scene composition, precision camera controls, and groundbreaking latent space transition effects. While Dream Studio Pro is a standalone application, it is also a perfect addition to robust visual effects asset workflows. Create fully realized environments, asset textures, and motion matched composition layers with 3D transformations and precise masking. All of the versatile API functionality is built from the ground up on our robust cloud platform. This way, studios and software partners can easily integrate Dream Studio Pro capabilities into their own pipelines. Dream Studio Pro is compatible with proprietary, fine-tuned image models, allowing studios, game developers, and content creators to integrate DS Pro into their own production pipelines, with video diffusion and audio diffusion models coming soon. Dream Studio Pro extends our leadership into animation and video, cementing Dream Studio as the industry standard for AI image synthesis and media creation. The future of animation is now. Thank you. Very exciting moment in, I would say, the history of technology, the history of artificial intelligence. That is the release of Stable Diffusion. Stable Diffusion. So Stable Diffusion, I think, is going to really shake up the AI game.
name in and like nothing comes up. I trained the thing for a week and a half on it looking like me, but guess what? On my drive down, this guy figured out how to do it in 15 minutes. <laughs>